Darkness Entities and Guardians, my name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kicker Run Kingdom. So, I'm just going to be 100% honest with you, I haven't recorded this in a little bit because the past couple of days has been, it has been exhausting. Like, let me tell you, I've been dealing with Halloween related stuff, video related stuff, collab related stuff, drama related stuff. There's so much stuff that I've been dealing with with the past, like, few days that it's been insane. I'd even say, like, the past week, which it's been absolutely insane, but it's also been pretty revigorating. I'm pretty sure that's the correct term. You got anything to say? Hi. Not even a uh, decimal after that. Just like, hi. And you know what? I want to do something chill for this video. This is just going to be a simple draw opening video. I'm going to be doing 10 draws, and two of those are actually going to be coming from the BTS gifts, which I haven't claimed yet, because I have a lot of events over here that I need to claim, so I may as well show them off. But of course, I'm actually going to be reading comments from two videos. The first one will be from Jim and Cookie Quotes Story and uh, Upgrading, because the thing is, when I did that video, they only got three comments, which is kind of low, so... Like I said, well, let me just mention, if you want to leave your comments in, like, comments in the comment section down below, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different, some entirely random, it doesn't even matter. As long as we're interacting with each other, I think that's the thing that makes the most importance. Like, that's the thing that counts the most. Community to creator, creator to community. I think that's what holds us, like, you know, closest, and that's all I can really hope for. Now, of course, after I only read those three comments, I'm going to re be reading comments from uh, the I Thought I'd Go On For Longer, which is a Cook Run Kingdom BTS video. It's, yeah, I wasn't proud of that one because, like, I had two little BTS cookies to continue. But what we're going to do is that we're going to be going to over to our events. We're going to be going over, and if we see, look at all these daily tour things that I didn't clear. But, okay, let's claim some of these, and at least it gives us a ton of army bombs, too, which, you know, these toppings are pretty good. Wait, wasn't it epic? Oh, yeah, they were guaranteed epics. Uh, but actually, before I do that, let me just check over here. Okay, uh, we can get this done. Oh, and also we can get this done. I have 15,000. Oh, 16,000 now. So we're close to that 25,000 mark. Uh, there's a Braver Together thing over here, which I'm actually close to getting done. I need to do... I just need to run a little bit more. I, I can probably do that in six days, just running a lot, running, like, around daily. But whatever. But before I even open up one of these uh, BTS daily gift... Uh, Polls. Let me just read a comment from Game Wisdom Gaming, who says, "I love how they gave the BTS cookies like three voice lines." Yeah, yeah, they really didn't do much with the BTS cookies' uh, voice acting. I mean, at least they got their voice in the game, which is actually pretty impressive. And I do like, you know, it is guaranteed that's their actual voice actors and not someone else posing as them, because it just confirms that they're the actual BTS cookies, which is cool, or the BTS players. But or but why players? It's the actual people who are in BTS. Okay, before I read these next two comments, let's do this one cookie poll. Now I'm going to do the no the other one. I guess I should have skipped that, to be honest. So, I don't even know what I'm going to get. This I already have all of, so it doesn't even matter. Olive <laughs> crunchy chip cookie. I think I can promote you now. Well, maybe I could have always promoted you, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, more beet cookie. I can't believe I got two of the beet cookie soul cores. I already have those maxed out, so it doesn't even matter. I already have uh, three beet cookie soul stores. Okay, you know what? Three Oyster Cookie Soul Stones? That's actually not too bad. Uh, Ginger Brave Soul Core. Is the uh, Beat Cookie... Uh, okay, that's rare. Is the Beat Cookie Soul Core gonna like, be the equivalent of like Beatster Hatred? You're actually getting close to uh, Max Ascension, so that would be cool, but it's a rare cookie. I'm pretty sure the only cookie that you should probably max out Ascension-wise, uh, if it's a rare, would probably be uh, Blackberry. I almost said Blueberry Pie, but she's not even in this game. But okay, that's the first draw done. We really got nothing exciting there. I mean, we did get the three super epics and the three crunchy chip, which is actually pretty cool. Super epic soul stones, not Fleming cookies. That would be very cool. But Fleming beatster, 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 angel, angel. Sheesh. And you know I'm getting, like, upset about that because I literally called the soul stones beatsters. <laughs> the pet. All right, well... I may as well get the other two comments out of the way just so I can move on to the next video. One comes from Red for Herodom, who says, Made a raspberry uh, pie computer. That sounds delicious. I could eat that, but I don't want to ruin the technology. And F did nothing wrong, which I'm pretty sure that's from Alphabet Lore or something, who says, the BTS cookies are 100% meta. I could not agree with you more. People have been using the BTS cookies so much in the arena, and it just gives you so much good stat boosts. And whenever I see someone using the BTS cookies in the arena, I dodge them. Like, I just don't attempt to fight at all. They're too terrifying for me. I'm sorry, I just don't even attempt. But anyway... Let's get the rest of this loot, and we've read all the comments in this video, so uh, we're going to move on to the next video, being I thought I'd go on for longer for more comments, but let's get our other loot first. There we go. Uh, slingshot, that's good to have, and the rest is 
It's pretty there. 3,000 crystals, though. I have a lot of crystals, and I barely spent anything with them. Like, I'm not even joking, because I, I really have nothing to spend the crystals on. Like, I don't even, like, the only time I really spent crystals is, like, uh, I don't know, maybe to purchase a specific decor. In fact, I'm pretty sure the last time I spent crystals was probably, uh, when I used them when I ran out of cookie cutters or something. But anyway, epic toppings. We got another 700, and these, actually, I think the solid almonds are, like, the best one to get. And there we go. We now have one more draw we can do on this section, then I'm going to do eight more with just normal cookie cutters. And this gives us a guaranteed epic, too. So, as you can see, okay. Well, I had strawberry up here, there. It gives us the epic on the first one, okay. Is it guaranteed epic, or is it just, like, uh, epic or above? You know what? This is a Claire. And I can, I can recognize it by that book and its beautiful background. One of my favorite Kingdom characters. So, you really want me to promote up Eclair. Like, literally, I only need 12 more just to get you to 4 star, I'm pretty sure. Which is amazing. You know what? I'm happy about that. Eclair is a good cookie to have on my team. We got some muscle cookie. We got some bulk, too. There's our king. The third uh, soul core. Don't know where the second and the first are. Actually, we've seen the second in the story. I'm pretty sure the first appears in another story. I don't know. Oh, we're close to getting Clotted Cream uh, a promotion, which is actually very good for a super epic. So, if we can get any more good boosts, anything else, that would actually be pretty fantastic. A? Eh? Parfait cookie? Okay, it is only one, though. And that was it. So, our epic was Eclair, which is actually very good, because uh, that we can basically, like, promote him again soon. Uh, there's some loot that I can get here, which is uh, XP. You've decorated a ticket? Check your tickets and... Have I not decorated this one yet? Well, that's weird. Because I've decorated... I guess it's because I haven't decorated that. No, because I got third. What the pleb is... It? Oh, okay, whatever. There's also this event, which I'm not going to get anything for yet until I fully complete them. Because uh, there's uh, Cookie Kingdom by BTS. And I think you have to like complete a whole story or something. Uh, I can get 10 Pumpkin Pie Soul Stones. Flawless Victory. I get 10 of these arena tickets, which I can use to fight with. And there's also 300 crystals waiting for me right here. Fantastic. So, I guess... Uh, we can kind of move on here. I can get this. A thousand crystals, meet two BTS cookies. Got another stamp to our name. Pretty good. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go over to the, uh, this is actually the wrong thing. We're going to go over to the gotcha. And we're just going to do a nice calm plumbing just draw here over in this area because we have 244. We would be ending with uh, 164. Uh, so let's just quickly read a comment from Michael Chang who says, I bet that fast rap album would have AJ Beckles, their voice actor, in his normal non-character voice. I could imagine it. It's just, it would just be funny. But let's do another draw 10. And I'm going to skip because I don't want to get spoiled. As you know, I like the uh, anticipation, the surprise of what it could be. Because I don't want to just go like, oh, there's wizard. No, I'll just skip it, skip it. Nothing good, nothing good. Okay, so we do get a rare. Probably one that we already have. Oh, I mean, we already have, obviously. We have all the rares in the game, but we don't have the max out ascension. So that's cool. Ninja cookie, it's pretty obvious. Angel cookie, it's pretty obvious. We're obviously going to get some basic stuff here. Uh, epic. Licorice co Oh! I can promote you to- I think that's three star. That's actually pretty good. That's really good. I- Honestly, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I do hope that Licorice Cookie does get a magic candy. I feel like that could actually get Licorice Cookie back in the meta pretty easily. But that is just me. I don't know how that is gonna work, but hey. Look at that sparkling cookie. Got some nice drinks going on. I can go for a drink right now. I, ha I have some water somewhere. I can go for a sip of that. But right now, I'm working on the video. So, we only have several more draws that we can do. So, let's just read two comments here, I guess. One comes from Justin or Justine202 who says, Yeehaw. That's true. That is a yeehaw moment. And Lenon Geo left a comment saying, My favorite BAD4 member is probably TNT because he looks awesome. Which, I guess, while I do a draw, I'm going to do another comment question of the day, which I usually try and do on these videos. Just, I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. What do you do that helps you calm down and relax? Like, just straight up. It could be anything that you want to do. Just anything that, like, helps you just, like, you know, take a breather. Just, like, gives you a reality check or something like that. Even though we just got something very cool right here. That's looking like an epic. Which one is this? Oh, it's Madeline. I've, I've never seen the uh, Madeline cookie draw animation before. I'm pretty sure, uh, maybe, I think that was added... Because I think a few cookies got, like, a couple, like, a new animation. Unless if Madeline Cookie always had that. And I just barely seen it. But, okay, that's actually pretty cool. We got Madeline Cookie. Which I think having Madeline uh, promoted is actually very good. Because Madeline is a part of a couple bonds. So, that would be pretty exciting. Just to upgrade. But, like I said, what helps you all calm down? Because, like, it could be anything. It's, it could just be, like, you know, taking a break from something. Like, it could be, like, focusing on something else. You know, just 
taking a nice stroll outside like day or night uh, looking up at the stars like stargazing uh, just maybe painting just like whatever like just helps you calm down what would you, what would you consider that because I know after the stuff that's been going on man we definitely just need to like take a breather and just stay calm so I'm gonna do another draw by we'll uh, read another comment after so let's do this skip see if we get anything new ninja cookie soul core it's pretty obvious I don't know why I say that's pretty... See, now it's getting obvious, because now I just get them over and over and over again. Okay, we got a rare. Okay. Clover Cookie. Pretty good, but I already have you, I think, fully maxed out. Just, uh, not even for promotion. Do I? I don't know. What, what, whatever. I just have enough of your soul cores and your soul stones, so it really doesn't matter. But there we go. We're just getting a lot of rare soul cores nowadays. It's hard to say soul cores and not soul stones, because I think soul, uh, blah, 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 soul stones, as I stutter, soul stones just, like, they, they, go, what, what's the term? Slip out the tongue easier? Is that the term that you would say to, uh, get, make something easier to say, slip out the tongue? Rolls off the tongue, that's what the term is. Okay, by the way, we got two strawberry cookies in that poll. That's interesting. I guess I can't mind it. How much mind do we have? 60,000. Should I just do the ding? The, the ding. Just two real quick ones, since that's already going to get you to four star, which is definitely going to help team-wise. So let's go ahead and read a comment before we do more polls, which comes from Raichu, who says, Hyper, I'm pretty sure that the Priestess Paper Charm level doesn't matter, but all right. My favorite member from BAD4 is probably either Hellhound or Mushy P. I don't know how to decide because they're both cool. That's perfectly understandable. I think they're both cool. Firstly, I think I said mine was Mushy P, but if I had to list them down from like... Oh, this is like guaranteed rares. I did not uh, accidentally uh, skip. Well, not accidentally, but I didn't purposely skip it. So we know we're not going to get anything special here. But uh, I mean, we could get some like soul stone or like epic soul stone or something. But I don't know. But uh, I'd say from best to worst, in my opinion, and this isn't even me, like me saying like, oh, best to worst in the sense like, oh, this one's the best, but the one at the back is super bad. I'm just saying these are ones that I favor. Uh, oh, pumpkin pie cookie. Fantastic. We literally just got 10 of your soul stones. It's fantastic. Uh, but. I would say uh, Mushy P, then Hellhound, then TNT, then Z what was it? Who's ZZ Skull? Yeah, I was I thought it was like ZZ Strider or something, but no, it's ZZ Skull. And not saying that like ZZ Skull design is bad. I'm just saying out of like all of them, I guess because here's the thing. Like I said, the one at the bottoms are still great. However, there's just some more that I do prefer. Even though, uh, fun fact, uh, I'm not sure if any one of you know about this. But, uh, a long, uh, not a long time ago, but, like, a solid amount of time ago, uh, there was an audio from, a uh, Cookie Run Kingdom live stream with the voice actors, and, uh, Licorice had, like, was told to, like, do this voice, I think it was a viewer request saying, like, oh, can you say that, uh, they got kicked off of the dark team, so they're working at McDonald's now? Then Licorice said it, and then I turned that into a little short, and then on, like, another website, which I'm pretty sure it was actually TikTok, too, uh, they actually reacted to that and, like, voice synced it, which... That's actually very, like, very cool. I'm not sure if I can, I wonder if I can remember to, like, put a link down there to that, because that is very cool, but, uh, seriously. Oh, I can promote Twizzly! Well, that's sick! Oh, some soul cores? That's actually great. Uh, that's actually, I'm getting some good soul cores out of this, at least. Ooh, I'm burping. Oh, my lord. Alright, so we can do three more pulls, and that should be it. So, I'm going to read a comment. One comes from Ian Also Brooks, who says, Hellhound is my favorite, so hot. Well, I mean, it literally has the word hell in the name, so I can understand why you would say they're hot. Well, anyway, now we're getting some Wildberry Soul Stones. I hope I get some more, because Wildberry is actually a very good defender on the team. I've been told that they are even better than Hollyberry, who's a straight-up legendary. By the way, we got something good. Oh! We got the... Oh, look at that. Look at that round bird. Look at that round bird. They're just ball. So we're really close to promoting Sorbet Shark, which would be good because Sorbet Shark is a very good ambush cookie. Does high damage. So there we go. We got another epic Sorbet Shark cookie. I'm actually happy about that. We're getting some good, like, uh, cookies that we've been pulling that we can use on our team. Like, what did we get in this video? We got Plumbing Sorbet Shark, we got Eclair, and we also got Madeline. That's three epics. And while I don't use Madeline, uh, upgrading and promoting Madeline is actually good for cookie bonds. Because they're part of a solid amount of them. So let's just keep on getting these. And we should be near the end right here. More soul core. Thank you. Honestly, I feel like I could just like spend some mileage just to uh, promote cotton cookie at this point. 
because I mean it only is just one star for ascension and that would be a big help so we can only do two more so I'm gonna read two more comments maybe three and I don't know this one comes from guinea pig fan 112 who says what is your favorite ancient and legendary cookie uh let me think about this for a minute uh, I think favorite ancient probably Hollyberry. I just like her attitude I like her style I think it's very cool but I think favorite legendary if you're talking about in kingdom uh, I d I'm gonna have to say probably Frost Queen. Like, I don't know why. I guess it's because I like this out, out of like, here's the thing. Don't hate me on me for this. It's just my opinion. Everyone can share their own opinions and just can stay completely fine with it. I think Sea Fairy is overrated and I don't know much about Black Pearl Cookie. And I don't know much about her backstory too. Which I'm pretty sure if I were to rank them, I'd say Frost Queen and then uh, Black Pearl and then... Uh, sea fairy which ironically all those legendaries are water related now if you mean legendary in general i would have said timekeeper cookie because i just think like she has a lot of potential and there's a lot of like cool things that you could probably do with her especially in regards to the tbd but we can only do one more poll here let's hope that we do get, uh do get something good and then we can end this video and just go back to doing some of the chaotic crazy stuff and the last comment comes from alexander piers who leaves a nice humble my favorite member is mushy p which is nice so let's do this last 10 draw. Maybe we can end off on a bang, or at least end off, you know, pretty confidently. Like, I don't know, there, there's a word, I don't know. I, it, I was gonna say like consensually, but I don't even think that's the, uh, the term. I don't think that's the term at all. Uh, I, I can't remember. Just end it well, basically, with maybe like an epic, or we won't at all, and probably just get a bunch of rares that we already have, a bunch of commons that we already have, or maybe at least like a soul stone or something. I don't know, because I feel like I kind of drained out my luck already. Because look at all these rares I'm getting. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be rares upon rares upon rares. Like, don't get me wrong. Avocado is pretty cool to have. But, oh, there's the Soul Stone. Hoo-hoo. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. No, this is the last one. It is the Soul Stone. Mala Sauce. That's actually pretty good. All right, not the best ending, but I will say we did six, we got some cool cookies to get uh, today. Sorbet Shark, Madeline, Plumbing Eclair, and we can do some good upgrades with that. So I guess I can end the video right here and just have a happy old time. So with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share this video uh, with your friends if you enjoy my cookie run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet or you want to. Hit the bell to be notified of whatever I do in the future. I have merchandise you want to check it out too, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. I also have a Discord down in the description if you want to join it. It's a fun time down there and we're trying to expand each and every single day. And last but certainly not least, there's a little link in the description that leads to a tweet where if it gets 10k likes, I can get the cookie run YouTube set for absolutely free. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype beast.